What is up everyone? Nick here. Welcome to the show if you're new. Thanks for coming back if you're not. Alongside the global health situation, paired with the mass reallocation out of growth and speculative plays, many investors are flocking to the tried and true value holding investment vehicle, gold. With the Federal Reserve, helmed by Chairman Powell, pumping trillions of dollars of stimulus onto the open market, investors, concerned with the growing inflation and the 10-year Treasury yield rising, are reallocating into gold. This mass movement relayed to an enormous run-up in the price of gold over the past year. As the economy began opening, the price of gold began to see decreasing value. However, many think that the long-term effects of the economic situation will once again pull gold back up to all-time highs in the coming quarters. We're already seeing this take place. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at a fascinating gold play, having just began trading on the market out of one of the most prolific mining areas in the world. The boom is hot. This one is going to be a fun one. Remember to always come to your own conclusions when allocating capital on the stock market. This is especially true when considering micro or nano cap companies. Penny stocks do come with more potential reward. However, this is typically paired with increased risk. Disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. I'm not a financial advisor. Do as much research as possible and formulate your own decision. This is your duty as a smart and calculated investor. All right, ladies and gents, without further ado, let's get right into it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm first going to go over who the company is, what exactly it is they do, and what they're about to accomplish. I'm then going to go over where they see their company moving. And finally, we'll be going over their analytics, balance sheet, charting, and financials. Okay, so the company of today's episode is called Nevada King Gold Corporation, and I'm going to tell you how this company is setting themselves apart from the rest and why they are poised to surge. Now, what this company implemented was a contrarianism mindset, thinking and acting against the grain, positioning themselves for the future landscape, going left when the crowd is going right. Nevada King, with a fitting name if I may add, went on a relentless buying streak at the bottom of the bear market in 2015. They were purchasing claims all over in one of the most prolific mineral belts in Nevada, the infamous Battle Mountain. Nevada has become one of the largest gold producing regions in the globe. To put how much gold is coming out of Nevada into perspective, if it were a country alone, it would actually be the fourth largest gold producing country worldwide. Now, Colin Kettle, the hungry, young, and calculated entrepreneur of Nevada King, doubled down on these claims that were essentially fire sales during the 2015 bear market. He implemented the contrarian playbook to perfection. Warren Buffett would be extremely proud of him. Now, CEO Kettle and his team decided it was time to take their company public. Nevada King Gold Corp is trading on the TSXV under ticker symbol NKG and on the OTC, or over-the-counter, under ticker symbol VKMTF. So one would need a traditional brokerage account to acquire shares such as one of these. Nevada King Gold Corp just began trading to the public on April 9th, just a few short weeks ago, making it an ideal time to get in before the masses. This isn't the first time that Young Kettle and his hungry team have taken a company public. They recently brought another company public whose market capitalization has increased over 300% in just the past six months. Now, the reason I am personally bullish on this company is that they have over 8,000, yes, 8,000 claims in the previously mentioned Battle Mountain region in Nevada. They are already Nevada's fourth largest active claim holder and are planning on rapidly expanding, purchasing additional claims to become Nevada's second largest holder by 2022. This is showing their rapid escalation, expansion, and their true belief in their company and the gold prospects of Battle Mountain. Nevada King has 8,197 active claims, totaling over 163,000 acres, building a massive portfolio. The company only just a few weeks ago announced the completion of their business combination between Victory Metals and Nevada King Mining to jointly create Nevada King Gold Corp hence the high investor interest as of late. They are very well capitalized with over a $20 million cash position and plans to drill four of their district scale projects this year. They are making moves and making moves fast. The company's idea is that Nevada has seen a recent frenzy of companies desperately trying to acquire stake. They see this as a new era of gold mining in the region, making it a very beneficial time to be one of the largest landholders in the mining belt. 
Nevada King is currently targeting elephant deposits. They are concentrating on areas proximal to current drilling projects and are focusing on mineral lands that have been previously held and explored by major entities. The Battle Mountain Belt is a coveted area in Nevada holding 92 million ounces of already discovered gold, extremely lucrative real estate. The company's 2021 drilling plan includes an excess of 25,000 meters of drilling beginning with the Atlanta gold mine in May. This source has 2.360 million ounces of indicated gold with a $2.5 million budget. And the list just keeps going here. Their Horse Mountain Mill Creek project, beginning in September, has a whopping 22 million ounces. Lewis project, 10 million ounces. Iron project, 16 million ounces. You get where I'm going with this. Now, if you've been here before, you know just how bullish I am on gold currently in our market. And what's more is that the Federal Reserve has begun shifting their views on inflation. And this is just within the past week or so. They are beginning to admit that inflation may become somewhat of a problem that may not go away as soon as they had previously thought. It could possibly linger for years to come. This is very good news for gold valuation, gold miners, and gold investors such as myself. Looking back at the gold charts, the last time inflation soared, so did gold. And we are beginning to see that surge take place once again. Many analysts think that there also could be a potential buyout of this newly formed yet rapidly growing company. They have been acquiring a very impressive land package in a very short amount of time. A buyout from one of these mega gold companies in the area in attempts of securing more real estate in one of the most prolific gold regions in the world is by no means a stretch. It is speculative, yes. However, in the event it did happen, this would likely result in shares surging. Now, Nevada King Gold Corp is led by co-founder and CEO Colin Kettle, a very successful entrepreneur already at his young age. He is executive chairman of Palisades Gold Corp Limited, as well as founder and executive chairman of Newfound Gold Corp with an $800 million market cap. Paul Matziak is the company's co-founder and executive chairman. He is a serial entrepreneur, geochemist, and geologist with over 40 years experience in the mining industry. He is primarily focused on exploration, development, and sale of five publicly listed companies in aggregate of over $2 billion. Basim Mubarak is the company's CFO. He has raised over $200 million to finance and develop mines and sold four assets in aggregate worth over $850 million. Cal Heron is the COO and president of Quest Geological Consultants. The company has a plethora of experience, is in great hands. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. I really do think Nevada King is poised to capitalize on their previous five years of preliminary work. The company is at a current crossroads, has put in the work, and could surge in valuation. This is always the fun part of gold companies in my opinion. With the multiple exploration and development projects, I really do think this could be a great play. They currently have 231 million shares outstanding with a market cap of 88.461 million, making them a micro cap company. They have 18.5 million in working capital and have a 2021 budget of $9.6 million. With the possibility of inflation, many investors reallocating into gold and having a massive stake in the most gold prolific region in the world, in my opinion, makes this a very interesting play. I will be following this company very closely, so make sure you subscribe. You do not want to miss any updates. Let me know your favorite gold stocks. I am always looking to do more research on gold. Check it out. Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to discuss. Anyways, everyone, I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Happy trading. Cheers.